Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel a scholarship tutor. In this video, we will talk about the real question paper of NMMS examination which is going to be in Meghale state on 12th of November 2022. So this video is very important for you because this is a real question paper of Meghale state. So let's start our video with set paper solution here is your question of a scholastic aptitude test which is also known as set of uh, science paper so let's deal with first question which of the following measurement is most precise that means in these options which is correct measurement which is most precise so here 5 mm is the measurement which is most precise so the right option will be option number a and op uh, question number two which of the following ratios express pressure uh, i hope you know that pressure equals to force by bear, uh, area so uh, so option number a will be the correct answer because pressure is the force exerted upon a unit area so the correct option will be force by area option number a now move forward and uh, next question number three which of the following statement is true a scalar quantity is one that is conserved in process a scalar quantity is one that can never take negative values a scalar quantity one that doesn't vary from one point to another in space a scalar quantity has the same value for observes with different orientation of the axis so in these following options you will notice that option number D has the correct statement. How? Because a scalar quantity has the same value. Yeah, that's true. A scalar quantity has the same value for observers with different orientation of the axes. Because you know that and you you know that a quantity has two parts. Option number D will be the correct answer because I want to explain you that a quantity consist of two parts and uh, quantity has two parts one is a uh, uh, scalar quantity a scalar quantity and one is a vector quantity vector quantity a scalar quantity is those which has only magnitude magnitude only and vector quantity has the quantity which has a magnitude with along the specific direction it has also magnitude and direction but a scalar quantity has only magnitude so a scalar quantity has the same value for observation from different axes option number d will be the correct answer and next option uh, question number four the distance between two cities is 10.5 kilometer the distance in meter is you know that one kilometer equals to 1000 meter right one kilometer equals to 1000 meter so here is the question the distance between two cities is 10.5 kilometer the distance in meter so 10.5 into 1000 we will here decimal expansion and uh, 10 10 1 cuts and uh, then 10,500 meter will be the correct answer here you can uh, multiply this 105 into 100 so we will get 10,500 meter option number B will be the correct answer and the next question the motion of a wheel is you know that the motion of a wheel is always rotational okay so the next question question number six which of the following is not a natural source of light sun obviously we know that sun is a natural source of light moon is also stars and burning candle here is the difference burning candle is a artificial source of light right so option number D will be the correct answer Question number seven: The luminance, the luminance, the luminance is the 
emission light emission of light by a hot body emission of light from a body that is not hot emission of light from materials none of the above in these options option number b will be the correct answer emission of a light from a body that is no not hot because uh, illumination is the uh, emission of light from a body it is not required that it is it should be in hot form so the option number b will be the correct answer and the next question number 8 in a pinhole camera the image that is produced on the screen is reflected refracted observed inverted in a pinhole camera the image that is produced on the screen is of which shape in these following options so option number d will be the correct answer always inverted image is produced when a pinhole camera we see on the screen question number 9 electricity we use at home is static current current and static none of the above so here option number b will be the correct answer current because you know that electricity is nothing but the flow of electrons which is said to be in motion so it is known as current the motion of electrons uh, through a medium that is called current so it is in current mode not in static electro electrostatic is those force uh, if you observe that uh, you take a comb comb uh, and uh, let's uh, let's suppose this is a boy and here is the comb and here is uh, hair of a boy and he is uh, scratching on his hair in the comb uh, and after that uh, take a piece of paper i think you did this on your home uh, take a piece of paper take a piece of paper and uh, uh, then Uh, take closer the comb to the pages tiny pieces you will observe that it is attracting it is attract comb is attracting the particle the tiny pieces of paper towards it that is that force is known as electrostatic force so here uh, where we are uh, or oh, question number 10 right artificial magnets are made up of iron steel both iron and steel none of the above option number c will be the correct answer because it is artificial magnets are made up of both iron and steel question number 11 permanent magnets are made up of iron steel both iron and steel none of the above uh so here option number b will be the correct answer because the permanent magnets are made up of steel and artificial magnets are made up of both iron and steel so move forward question number 12 a substance consisting of molecules resulting from a very large number of molecules joined together is known as when a substance consists of a molecules here uh, let's suppose a substance which is consist of some molecules let's change the color here is the molecules resulting from a large number of molecules joined together in the known as and when these mo these two molecules combine to form a large molecule that molecule is known as monomer polymer plastic or fiber so here option number b will be the correct answer polymer and mm, the the single molecule on its own is known as monomer uh, let's suppose this is a molecule so in its single form that is known as monomer okay and when the monomer combines many monomers particles molecules combine together that is known as polymer and the next question is which of the following is a fuel butter not sugar no walnut no cock so here cock is the fuel we know and question number 14 the hydrocarbon in which one atom of carbon is bonded to four atom of a hydrogen is known as 
the hydrocarbon in which one atom of a carbon is bonded to four atom of hydrogen is known as that is known as uh, what ethane butane methane or propane that is known as uh, methane which stands for ch4 here is the chemical formula of methane now move forward and uh, question number 15 the lightest metal is which of the following is a uh, lightest metal uh, in these options option number b will be the correct answer lithium is the lightest metal okay and heaviest metal is platinum uh, which is uh, represented by pt atomic symbol uh, now move forward question number 16 the quality of being molded or shaped is elasticity plasticity ductility and malleability in these options option number b will be the correct answer plasticity which is the quality of being molded or shaped question number 17 the total number of zones in the structure of a candle flame total number of zones in a candle flame let's suppose this is a candle and uh, this is uh, diwali time and this is the flame this is a candle okay we are in uh, question number 17 here is the flame candle flame and these four zones are formed one zone two zone three zone four zone four zones are formed on a candle flame which of the flame is not a metal sodium hydrogen potassium lithium so here hydrogen is the non metal because it is in the gaseous form and it has not the property of metal like rigidity malleability you know that a metal has a, is the good conduct is always the good conductor of uh, electricity it is uh, in hard nature it is rigid and uh, uh, they are malleable ductile but hydrogen is in none of these so this is a non metal here is a different non not a metal hydrogen so question number 20 question number 20 in question number 19 sorry acid rain is caused by carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide and hydrogen peroxide and here uh, the correct option will be option number b sulfur dioxide due to sulfur dioxide acid rain is caused heavily due to which uh, many crops are damaged right and pollution is caused and in these days our taj mahal is getting polluted due to this acid rain because the many factories has polluted the taj mahal and the signing nature of uh, taj mahal is getting uh, disturbed so question number 20 uh, containers of dry cells are made up of so containers of a dry cells are made up of zinc okay remember this zinc always contains zinc in dry cells are made the liquid wastes produced in factories are called liquid wastes are produced in factories are called what so option number a will be the correct answer effluents question number 22 a good fuel must have low calorific value high calorific value moderate calorific value no calorific value it should be high calorific value why because a, a calorific value you know it a calorific value is the amount of heat energy produced okay so if we buy a fuel for a uh, vehicles so it should produce a high calorific value so that it assures that a it will produced a good motion when it produce a high calorific value question number 23 during photosynthesis dash is formed as a product of so during photosynthesis uh oxygen is formed as a product right and question number 24 the most important site of digestion is 
duodenum, liver, pancreas, villi. In these options, option number A will be the correct answer, duodenum. A fruit is ripe in stamen, ovule, ovary, carpel. So, in these options, which is which should be correct? I think option number C will be the correct answer, ovary. And next question is question number 26. In a plant cell, photosynthesis occurs at. Uh, this question is very important for your examination and if you know the answer of this question so let's uh, comment on this in this video I will definitely check your answer I am waiting for your answer if you know the answer of question number 26 this is SW for you to comment the answer right answer of question number 26 okay question number 26 I will wait for your answer uh, and then and we will move forward for now question number 27 the ability of living things to adjust the condition of their surroundings is called what habitat adaptation accumulation accommodation in this options option number B will be the correct answer adaptation adaptation is the ability of living things to adjust to condition of the surroundings the elbow has a combination of sliding joint and a hip joint, hang joint and a pivot joint, hang joint and a ball socket joints. Uh, option number B will be the correct answer. Hang joint and pivot joint. Reproductive reproduction in yeast occurs by budding, fragmentation, spore formation, and fission. In these options, option number A will be the correct answer. Fusion, budding, sorry. And question number 30, the last question of this video. Malaria is caused by, I think you know uh, that malaria. Malaria is always caused by protozoa. Fem uh, uh, malaria, is, uh, uh, malaria is caused by protozoa, uh, in protozoa. Plasmodium is the main factor of causing malaria. Plasmodium. Right. So, this is our uh, lecture, the, which is a real paper, which will definitely come, your, uh, come in your examination of Meghale, 12th of November 2022. So, best of luck for your examination. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.